No one on death row in Ohio has been executed in three years. Governor Kasich recently rescheduled 27 executions. Now there's a last minute push to stop all of them in case there's an innocent man scheduled to die. Kwame Ajamu knows what it's like to be on death row. I was just 17 years old when this happened to me. He was convicted of murder in Cleveland. He spent 30 years wondering when he would die. It's not just dying or being sick and dying, it's the unknown. We fear not knowing what's going to happen thereafter. He was exonerated in 2014, but now he's worried there's another innocent man like him on death row. I don't know who it is. None of you know who it is, and neither does Governor Casey. He's part of a group taking thousands of signed petitions to Governor Kasich in the hopes he'll delay the next execution. I'm hoping that uh, these um, petitions are enough to uh, convince uh, Governor Kasich to uh, have a change of heart. They want the state to reform the system before anyone else is executed. The Department of Corrections says it's moving forward with the scheduled executions in a quote, lawful, humane, and dignified manner. I don't believe families understand how long it can take and how many years you're going to have to deal with this. And Melinda Dawson's husband was wrongfully convicted of her mother's murder. She says she didn't want the death penalty when the real killer was caught. There's not a day or an hour that goes by that I don't think of my mother. But there's hardly a time that I have to think of the killer. He's put away. There's no appeals. It's done. Now Ajamu is on the other side. His nephew was killed two years ago. He doesn't want his killer to be treated like he was. And I wouldn't want to see whoever done that go to the death penalty, although they should pay for having committed such a heinous crime. Three men on Ohio's death row are asking the U.S. Supreme Court to delay their executions. Ronald Phillips is scheduled to die next Wednesday. At the State House, I'm Ben Garbrick, ABC 6 News.